and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so without wasting time let's get started so today's problem of the day of geeks for geeks is salt.k salted w link list which is an easily marked lab problem and i agree with it okay all right so let's see what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one head of a w link list and integer k so what will k be doing and what uh, we have to do let's see so we have to sort we have to sort this w link list and every element correct position will be at most k indices away which means like 3 2 1 so one's correct position is what here so it is at most it is two indexes away okay all right similarly six correct position is what six correct position is this last it is at most one indices away okay so it's saying the the correct position and present position difference will be current position and correct positions difference will not be greater than k okay all right and we have to simply return a sorted link list head all right this is what we have to do so let's now see the constraints as well constraints are saying number of nodes will be less than equal to 10 raised to the power 5 okay all right which means we cannot have any square time complexity okay all right but here we can see the auxiliary space is saying big o of k and time complexity is saying big o of n log k which is a ideal scenario for a heap we can have a min heap here formed and uh, we can solve it using that how let's see so basically i will be having one priority queue and at first uh, there will be k plus 1 elements present which means for k equal to 2 3 elements will be present let's fill them 3 to 1 but when it will be filled in a min q heap it will be something like 1 2 3 okay all right and what i will do i will be removing one from the link list like first one from the priority queue so one first element from the priority queue is removed one and it will be marked as my temp head t and let's say current node as well c one is removed now when one is removed another element will be added that will be five okay so five is added now new array new priority queue is 2 3 5 okay now what will be large smallest is what 2 so 2 will be removed now once next will be pointed to 2 okay so if you will see current dot next is equal to 2 now current dot next dot previous is equal to current okay and now i will update my current as well to this c okay all right similarly like 2 is removed from here so what 6 will be added so 6 is added here okay now 3 5 6 which is the smallest one 3 so 3 is removed 3 is removed current dot next is equal to let the new node which is popped out 3 and current dot next that is 3 dot previous is equal to current and current is updated current is updated to here now 4 will be added last element so 4 is added here now 4's correct position is what here so 4 is added here now the smallest element is what 4 so 4 will be removed in this way we will keep on doing it till the last and uh, we will get our correct answer i hope the explanation will be clear so let's move on to the coding part then and uh, please try to code it by yourself as well once okay all right i hope many of you would have coded it but not let me code it then okay all right so what i will do first of all i will check if head is equal to null it means there are no nodes present so we will simply return head okay all right and after that what i will do is i will be initializing one priority queue here of a dll node type pq is equal to new priority queue actually i'm recording this video twice i recorded it once fully but after that it wasn't recorded correctly so i have to record it again okay so a comma b a dot data minus b dot data in this way i have added a completer function here which will which means key if two nodes are added so it will be sorted on their data value in increasing order okay all right well, now what i will do i will be having one int i equal to zero as well so now i will fill first of all fill k plus one elements to priority queue how let's see so while i is less than k plus 1 and and head is not equal to null simply add simply add new new nodes so uh, let's say pq dot add head and after that head is equal to head dot next okay something like this and one more thing i will be added so that only k plus 1 elements are added i hope till this point it will be clear now i will be making two new nodes that is dll node of what let's say tmp head is equal to null and current is equal to null as well okay now while priority queue is not empty i will be doing something now what i will be doing look uh, something like this i will be first of all checking if my tmp head is null or not if tmp head is null or not so if it is null it means there are no elements added so i will simply do tmp head is equal to pq dot pole uh, where pq first element will be removed from the priority queue after that what i will do tmp dot now let me copy this tmp head so that i have to don't write it again tmp head dot previous is equal to null and my current is equal to tmp head as well okay all right 
so this is for the once it will run only first time okay after that what i will do look now as i have shown earlier as well if any element is removed what i will do current dot next is equal to what current dot next is equal to pq dot pole new element will removed is current next current next previous next dot previous is equal to current i hope this point is also clear as i have shown new elements previous is current okay and current is equal to current dot next okay all right now this is something which is making the new link list now i have to add new new elements to the priority queue as well so if head is not equal to null i simply add new elements to priority queue that i will do some by something like pq dot pole head okay oh, pq dot add i will do pq dot add head and i will update my head is equal to head dot next so this will be stopped if all the elements are added to priority queue okay all right now simply i will come out now i what i will do? look the last current which is added its next should be pointing to null for next will be pointing to null so i will simply do current dot next is equal to null and i will return my tmp head because look this head is changing but tmp head is constant tmp head is uh, initialized only once okay so it is pointing to head let's compile this and i hope it should get accepted my previous first video which i recorded got doesn't get recorded correctly so yeah meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and yeah it is getting accepted so please share your feedbacks into the comment section subscribe the channel and i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye